Hello friends! In this video you'll see how have the actors of the TV miniseries It's 1990 changed. You'll know their real names and age. I will show you how they look then and what's with them now. Don't forget to like and subscribe to the channel. Let's go! Stanley Oris is in a romantic relationship with Patricia. He is engaged in maintaining accounting records and is generally used to leading a measured life. Couldn't cope with the fear of a new meeting with it, which led to his death. Mike Hanlon chose to stay in his hometown where he found work as a librarian. He can be observant, cares about Derry's history, and isn't used to standing on the sidelines, especially when it has begun to terrorize the town again. He was played by Tim Wright. Eddie Kasbrack, Dennis Christopher, is the owner of the premium limousine transportation company, a service used by many celebrities. He's quite a confident man, but his relationship with his mother left its mark, which caused him to fail in his marriage. Bill Denver, Richard Thomas, is a writer and hasn't lost his qualities growing up. He treats people close to him well and will never leave them in trouble. After the return of it, his childhood problem with stuttering returned. He ties his hair in a ponytail. Beverly Marsh, Annette O'Toole, has a good imagination, can draw well, and successfully translates her ideas on fabric. She can be persistent and unyielding when the situation demands it prefers to walk around with long hair, just as she did as a child. Ben Hanscom designs buildings, which brings him a good income. He wears a neat beard and mustache and is in pretty good physical shape compared to his teenage years. Sometimes, when serious problems arise, he can get drunk. He was played by John Ritter. Richie Tozier has had considerable success on the radio where he works as a DJ. He's still friends with the Losers Club and even after many years he's willing to help them. Wears a mustache, played by Harry Anderson, who died of a stroke in 2018. Young Ed DeCastbright is a member of the Losers Club, who has always held their leader Bill up as an example. He's not tall, quite thin, and has health problems, which is why he has to carry an inhaler with him all the time. He was played by Adam Farazel. Young Bill Denver is George's brother. He has a fearless character, knows what to say, and knows how to rally his friends. Possesses good personal qualities as well as great intuition. Played by Jonathan Brandis, who committed suicide in 2003. Young Mike Hanlon is the seventh member of the Losers Club and is also closely related to Jessica. He has a good ear for music and plays the trombone well. Mike can ride a bicycle and is a good pet lover, especially a dog lover. Young Stan Uris, Ben Heller, has a good friendship with Richie, with whom he was a member of the Losers Club. He could be picky about many things, is clean-cut and has his own particular view of the world, often shows a lack of acceptance of dangerous situations. Richie Tozer, Seth Green, has a good relationship with Bill as well as the other members. Sometimes he can use obscene language and likes to make fun of everyone. He has red hair and also has a problem with his eyesight, which causes him to wear glasses. Young Ben Hanscom was a member of the Losers Club with Beverly Marsh and also has a romantic interest in her. He is a pretty smart boy who likes to think and is interested in some engineering processes. Doesn't like to be cheated on, played by Brandon Crane. Young Beverly Marsh was Ben's classmate and is also a member of the Losers Club. She can be quick-witted and often tries to act in a way that doesn't attract her father's special attention. Beverly knows how to shoot well with a slingshot, played by Emily Perkins. 
Mrs. Winterbarger was the mother of Laurie Ann. She's a pleasant woman with pretty facial features and curly hair, which usually wears shoulder length. She's mainly involved in household chores and also takes care of her daughter, played by Marilyn Gann. Arlene Hanscom is the mother of Ben, whom she raises herself after the death of her husband. She's a good parent, trying to provide for her son, no matter how it's hard for her. Arlene is quite patient and understanding. The role is performed by Claire Wergill. Al Marsh was married to Alfreda and is also Beverly's only parent. He was extremely rude and even cruel to his own child and often hurled insults at her as well as raising his hand against her. He has a lean build. The role is performed by Frank C. Turner. Henry Bowers, Jerry Blancard, went to the same school as Ben and was the founder of the gang of the same name, which often caused trouble for others. He is not infrequently seen with greasy hair and in worn leather jacket. He always carries a knife. Cindy kept Bill Denver company for a while. She's not a fan of getting drunk out of her mind and can be quite attentive. She has dark curly hair, which she pins in her hair. Cindy likes to wear a jewelry bracelet. The role is performed by Venus Terrazzo. Patrick was one of Henry Bauer's henchmen. He has sadistic tendencies and can inflict injury for no reason. He can also be aggressive to animals but is afraid of anyone finding out about it. Played by Gabe Now, who died of a cardiac arrest in 2019. Audra Dandro is the lover of Bill, to whom she is married. She can act somewhat recklessly, doesn't always do what she is asked to do, and sometimes has a hard time breaking up with the person she loves. Audra is a pretty good driver. Played by Olivia Hussey. Coach Gary Chalk works at a school in Derry Township. He teaches children within the walls of the gym, and one of his students was Eddie. He likes to wear a white t shirt and a red and blue cap for work. He can also often be seen with the whistle around his neck. Officer Nell is originally from Ireland and is in the service of one of the police stations. He can be attentive, show compassion, and also remain extremely vigilant. Nell in the service wears a dark uniform with a tie and cap. He was played by Terence Kelly. Mr. Gedra is one of the employees of the School of Education where many members of the Losers Club attend. On weekdays, he mostly wears suits and mostly likes to wear a bow tie. He can express outrage if someone gets his clothes dirty. Played by William B. Davis. Henry Bowers was mentally ill and had a strong dislike for the Losers Club, whom he sought to destroy. In his aims, he shows the utmost determination and can act unexpectedly. He has gray curly hair and a somewhat crazy look. He was played by Michael Cole. Mr. Keen is one of the residents of Derry who owns a pharmacy. He is well versed in drugs and can advise the necessary drug and also prefers to serve clients himself. King has a mustache and wears large rimmed glasses. The role was performed by Tom Heaton. Georgie Denbro was closely related to Bill. He is a typical boy who, although he is already in elementary school, but he still likes to play games and needs to communicate with his brother. He likes to listen to fairy tales. The role is played by Tony Dakota. Ben's father was married to Arlene and was one of the members of the U.S. Army holding the rank of officer. He knew how to use firearms, had good dexterity and participated in various missions, in one of which he died. The role was performed by Steve Mackay. Lorianne Winterbarger is a cute little girl with a scattering of freckles on her face. She can be curious and also likes to play with her rag doll and ride her tricycle. Laurie often walks around with a ponytail or pigtail. She was played by Chelan Simmons. 
Pennywise, Tim Curry, is a brutal killer who chooses children as his victims. He appears mostly as a clown, but can take on any appearance. He likes to play on the fears of his victims, thereby making them vulnerable and mocking them. He has no shadow of his own. Thank you for watching. If you like this video, please share it on social networks, like it, and of course subscribe to the channel.